market fortune future. China, a huge market with 1.4 billion population. China International Import Expo, the first import expo in the world. From agricultural products to healthcare products, from automobile to medical equipment, from fashion lives to side tech's life, China wants to import from all over the world. From China opening its huge consumption market, how will it promote Southeast Asian economic growth? What are the fortune opportunities for Southeast Asian enterprises? What are the keys to unlock Chinese market? How to accelerate product and services trade to China? Nice TV Southeast Asia English Business News Program Fortune Express Huge Market Fortune Future Southeast Asia in CIIE Special Report Monday, November 8, 10, 9 p.m. only on Nice TV. Dongcheng Guoji, Jingcai Shijie, Mei Yicheng. Huge Market Southeast Asia in CIIE Special Sponsored by Dosen International Group. Welcome to the Southeast Asia English Business News Program, Fortune Express and Visna U host for today's program. From November 5th to 10, 2019, the second China International Import Expo was held in Shanghai, China. Fortune Express of Nice TV, as a media representative of Southeast Asia, was invited to attend this expo. Today, we will have a special report, Huge Market, Fortune Future to report the stories of the Southeast Asia and China International Import Expo, CIIE. As the world's first national exhibitions focusing on imports, the CIIE aims to create new opportunity for enterprises from various countries and regions. Please have a look at our team reported from CIIE in Shanghai, China. Hello, everybody. I'm Samian with Fortune Express Night TV. Now we are joining the CIIE, the second China International Import Expo at Shanghai. Chinese President Xi Jinping attended the event and delivered a keynote speech at the opening ceremony of the Second China International Import Expo, CIIE. President Xi said that standing at the new historical starting point, China will open its door even wider to the world. China has over 14 million people. 全球最大，市场规模巨大，潜力巨大，前景不可限量。中国老百姓有一句话，叫做“世界这么大，我想去看看”。在这里，我要说，中国市场这么大，欢迎大家都来看看。This unprecedented national level expo with the theme of imports provides a new platform for countries to carry out international trade and also mark that China is becoming a world market. This expo has been warmly welcomed by Southeast Asian countries. The second CIIE will further tighten the bonds of friendship between China and Southeast Asian country and guide them in cooperating at a high level on a new platform. According to Sun Chenghai, Vice Director of CIIE Bureau, the second China International Import Expo, CIIE, concluded with 71.13 billion US dollars worth of tentative deals reached for one year. Purchase of goods and services with the amount rose 23% from that of last year's. There are 181 countries as well as regional and international organizations attended this huge event and more than 3,800 enterprises from all over the world. Other than the Southeast Asian countries, there are 10 more countries and 357 enterprises attended the expo. Singapore has the largest number of 108 exhibitors Malaysia's reign top two with 64 exhibitors and Thailand reign top three with 47. The six-day event under the theme of New Era's Shared Future attracted more than 500,000 domestic and overseas buyers, Southeast Asian countries and CIIE.
将引领上海成为卓越的全球城市。By November 10, the exhibitions had received more than 910,000 visitors. Among Southeast Asian countries, His Excellency Juan Tara, Secretary of State, Ministry of Commerce of Cambodia, said the CIIE is very important to China and global business partners, especially Cambodia as well. Throughout this expo, he believed China's Southeast Asian trade volume will be increasing and reach its highest level. <laughs> ຫນຶ່ງມີການສິບພາບໃສໆຫມູ່ຈໍານວນທີ່ໂດຍທີ່ມະຣິດ <coughs> គឺជាពីព័ត៌មានកម្រិតលំដាប់ពួកហើយមានការតាំងឥឡូវនៅសំភារៈដែលត្រូវដាក់តាំងហ្នឹងគឺជាថាប្រភេទប្រណិតប្
和柬埔寨的普通香米，就行。加称呢是 SKO， 很多客人过来啊，吃了我们柬埔寨的那个茉莉香米呢，都是反应非常好，就是很香很糯。柬埔寨香米呢，这几年呢销售是逐步增加的，从开头的数量不多，到前年呢进口呢已经超过十多万吨，去年呢已经有二十多万吨啊，这个数量呢就会逐年增加。Wong Chiu, chairman of Hong Hip Cambodia Co. Ltd, said that this is the first time to attend the China International Import Expo. China market is very huge and important for Cambodia. That's why he attended this expo. He continued. This is my first time to join the CIIE and the uh, the uh, uh, Shanghai Import uh, Exhibition, and this is a huge one, and uh, very people. Uh, come in at 10 and uh, I, I hope that uh, all the exporter in the world can come and look for importers in this fair. China is a huge market and uh, I think for the time being no one of the market in the world is bigger than Chinese market. That's why uh, our company concentrates on to work to look for China uh, partners and they are very good now. Everything is well established and settled. Uh, the financial is very strong. That's why they can buy a lot. Normal company actually they can just place an order for one or two thousand tons of rice. It's not a problem. Southeast Asia uh, as I know and as I understand, there are a lot, lot of products can be exported to China and can be sold in China market. It depends on uh, the, their government. Uh, if their government is more active to promote their products, I'm quite sure they, have, uh, they can have a big market here, especially Cambodia, because other market I am not so uh, familiar with, but Cambodia, there are a lot, lot of other products can be exported to China. Uh, the problem is, I uh, may I suggest to uh, the Cambodia government uh, to put more attention on helping the farmer and also reduce the electric cost of electricity as well as the cost of uh, uh, document decoration so that we can compete against other markets. I wish this uh, CIIE uh, can be more success because I can see this time they already very successful. So uh, I think this is only the second time. So the third time uh, I think will be more successful than uh, this year uh, because I'm also uh, we are also planning to join the next uh, exhibition. On behalf of Cambodia product who joined the events, Mail Sok 3 Managing Director of Best Life Products Co. Ltd. encouraged more Cambodian companies that they should have attended this kind of expo because it's a very good opportunity to find business partners. He said that this is the second time to display the bird's nest to Chinese market throughout this expo. His participant has witnessed the strong purchasing power of the Chinese market. My second time to join the CIIE. CIIE is very important to all uh, the products, import products. Cambodia is a small country. We come to see this large and which events can open our eyes that wow this is a big world the huge market the buyer is not only in china the buyer is all over the world and we can match with other countries match with other suppliers all over, all over the world very very interesting firstly we talk about bird nests bird nest is the very special rare 
and natural products. Only in Southeast Asia, like Indonesia, Malaysia, Thai, Vietnam, Cambodia. Bird nest actually is not legally uh, imported to China yet, but we have a, a very good gift from Xi Jinping this year that let us process to apply the certificate for uh, import to China. So this year they will study in three uh, categories. One is the bird nest, second is mango, and third is the long gains. So we are happy. Maybe next year we can get the license to import to China. So people ask me why I come to join CIIE since I don't have the license to import to China. No, we have advanced uh, uh, exhibitions. We have to show to the world, to China, it's a big market here that Cambodia have birdness quality badness and then China one thing they said the uh, Guangxi Guangxi mean that you have to make a very good relationship with the Chinese people with the Chinese buyer so when you want to do the business with China you have to know culture what is the culture of the buyers so this is very important yes so we keep follow and tracking, make friendship with them. Yes. Because China, they consume more than 3,000 tons of bird nests. We are in Cambodia, we have approximately 100 tons per year. So how can you supply yes. the demands, you know? Yes. So you still have a lot of chance, don't worry. Cambodia company, please come join CIIE next year. Yes. Yeah, by our Ministry of Commerce. Mel Sokhtri's wife, Va Sujin, from Best Life Products Co. Ltd., is a Cambodian who can speak Chinese fluently, said that the Chinese language is very helpful for them to open up the Chinese market. He can't believe that this bird's nest product was sold out by just display for a few days. Uh, ແລະຢູ່ທີ່ນັ້ນກະກໍາເຈຍຶງນອມຜະລິດຕະພັນຄໝາຍມາຄືກະຈະກໍາກົມຫົນເບສໄລ <coughs> ຈ້າອັນນີ້ຫຍັງໃຫ້ຕັ້ງ <coughs> In ancient China, bird's nest was a luxurious health care product that only the Chinese royal family can enjoy. With the rise of China as a middle class, bird's nest has entered the table of ordinary Chinese consumer. China now is Thailand's largest trade partner, and Thailand is also one of China's most important trade partners in Southeast Asia. Sasori Tangurat, Consul General of Thai Consulate General in Shanghai, said CIIE is providing an excellent platform and opportunity to other countries to showcase their product. And the event also showed China's willingness and commitment to opening up. They display a lot of Thai foods and agricultural products to Chinese market because there are a lot of Chinese tourists visited Thailand each and every year. Actually, this is the second time that Thailand um, is participating in um, China International Import Expo. Um, this year, there are approximately 46 um, Thai enterprises attending CIIE, and most of them um, are the food and agricultural products. One main factor is that um, there are a lot of Chinese tourists 
visiting Thailand each year. Last year, um, there were approximately 10.5 Chinese people traveling to Thailand. And these people know Thailand quite well. And um, when they experience um, Thai products there and when they go back, return to their country, it is like um, by mouth to mouth that um, all of these um, Chinese tourists, they um, know the quality of Thai products and they tell their friends, their family, that's why Thai products are so popular among Chinese markets. Uh, my name is Sri Wat Natapun Wat. I'm come from Ministry of Commerce, Department of International Trade Promotion from Thailand. This is my first time to join the CIIE. I think it's very interesting, fair, because uh, many brands come here and many countries come here also. And every country come here for show the power and the good side of the country. We bring more than 100 products. Yeah. Yes, what kind of uh, our products? Uh, we bring in uh, Thai, Thai food and yeah. lifestyle and health and beauty. Mm. May I introduce yes. about the um, Thai food? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Do you what see kind? that it's a instant Thai premium press red curry. Yeah. But the important is uh, Thailand trust mark. Oh. If you see it, mm. the Thailand trust mark is the mark is guarantee for Thai quality product. Thai CP Group is one of the most well-known Southeast Asian company brands in China. In 1990, CP Group sponsored the most popular variety show of CCTV in China. Uh,正大集团在全球现在有三十五万员工。去年我们全球营业额是六百二十亿美金。呃,呃,我们的业务呢,遍及全球一百多个国家。目前在全球二十二个国家,投资有工业、实业、工厂。今年我们组织了海外
，那还有我们今年带来的这个泰国的香水椰青，那这些东西消费者都非常喜欢。一个是可以弥补，就是因为中国地大物博嘛，啊、呃，地广泛，可能一些北方的他也比较，呃。比较少的机会能够吃到热带水果，所以呃，我们还在持续的开发东南亚的更好的一些优质品项呢，包括能够准入中国的，我们也在 stand by 一些机会，就是说哪些水果能准入了，那我们也是希望能尽快的带给中国消费者。进博会是一个非常好的一个平台，那首届进博会我们前后接待了将近一百多个专业的买家和客户。那么，在进博会后续的一个溢出效应当中，包括持续的一个热度当中，我们也啊、呃、产生了一系列的一个合作。Marketing manager of Malaysia External Trade Development Cooperation, Go Go Zhang, said that this is very good platform to all of the country to show their best products to Chinese market. While she handled 50 Malaysian companies to join this expo, I think this is a very great platform for, for all the countries to show their image and also brought their best products to China market. Actually, for our country pavilion, there are、uh, 13 companies that join, but、uh, in total we have another pavilion in Hall 8.2.、Uh, so in total we have about like 50 Malaysian companies. Let's focus on F&B industry. Food and food and beverage industry. This is the 45 year of the diplomatic year of, between China and Malaysia. And next year in 2020, it's the、uh, it's the will be a, also a big year for the. It's called Malaysia Tourism Year. So I think the、uh, relationship between Malaysia and China is definitely very close. And I think Malaysia is the best partner under the Belt and Road Initiative for China. If we look at the world, even though China and U.S. trade war keep moving forward, but the Yangshan port is performing well, that is still strong export activity and increased 18% compared to the previous year by shipping throughout in Southeast Asia. This year, the export volume of the Southeast Asia is more than the previous year. It has increased 18%. From the raw material, it is the biggest. It is not the highest, it is not the lowest, but the raw material is the biggest. 所以这就是我们国内包括有些产业往东南亚的一些转移，包括就是中美前阶段有部分贸易之间可能关税这种问题，所以往东南亚这方面的量还会在增长。据我所知，现在很多船公司都专门开在东南亚航线，所以这个量可能还是会上涨。Let's have a look at e-commerce in China, especially Alibaba, one of the giant e-commerce platforms in China. How can Alibaba help developing countries and region to connect to China, a huge domestic market? How will Alibaba shake up the Southeast Asian e-commerce landscape? I'm a bit of Cambodian like me.、Uh, I have one question for the Dania, the executive chairman of the Alibaba Group.、Uh, as we know, Alibaba is one of the world's largest e-commerce company. So,、uh, how can the region, developing regional? Countries like as like Southeast Asia and Africa, as well as Cambodia, can connect、uh, to the China shoes market through the、uh, Alibaba platform. As a platform, we work with retailers, we work with brands to help them. We work with SMEs to help them to access the China market、uh, in a digital way. So as we do, and we we try to train people, we, we share our custom insight with them. And to identify the right products、uh, from a regional,、uh, from a particular market, from a particular suppliers, to see whether we can find the right demand in the China local market. So maybe we can explore further in a separate, I mean, follow up,、mm -hmm. and to see how we can do together. What outbound for the China product to the South Asia? A lot of the, the first, I think the、uh, population is big in the South Asia. Yeah, yeah. a lot of the.、Uh, Consumer in the South Asia and、uh, the e economic in the South Asia is going very fast.、Uh, you know, the, the people they are get, getting rich and the rich they would like to buy some、uh, something more from the overseas. So I, I think it will be very big market. It really depends on the population. Dongcheng Global, amazing world, every city. Huge market, Southeast Asia in CIIE, special sponsored by Dosen International Group.